Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my island living let's play. Oh my word, that's all I can say to begin this part. So this part is clearly gonna be on fire, so I'm very glad that you guys tuned into it. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like super excitable or like really loud in your ears right now, but I finally get to see the volcanic lot trait in action. So as you guys know, Sulani is built upon volcanic islands, so I did give them the volcanic activity lot trait. So there's currently volcano bombs literally all around my house. They look like dinosaur eggs and I kind of love it. So these are actually the eggs that are received. I'm calling them eggs because they look like massive ass dinosaur eggs. We also have one out back here. Honestly, I was just like skipping through. I was gonna play a couple of days off screen to see if I could do any work on the environmentalist island and like try and pick that up a little bit. But we have tectonic terror. So as you saw, the screen just went absolutely mad. These two are stressed and pressed. Whoa, that was a powerful eruption. Arihi is lucky to have witnessed and survived such an event. He doesn't give a crap. <laughs> and Mary is still like full on asleep. So I am actually gonna have Arihi come out here. And obviously Arihi is super like inquisitive. She just wants to know everything about like everything in the natural world. So she's gonna come over here and try to touch this bad boy, which I really don't think is gonna end well, Arihi. I don't think you should be touching this. And it's currently thunderstorming outside. I told you, I told you, you shouldn't have touched it. So there we go, she's set on fire. I think if you have a sim touch this like multiple times, I think they full on like catch on fire. We can make this decorative, apparently. I'm gonna send the girls back to sleep. Um, I mean, I was kind of hoping for more death and destruction, I'm not gonna lie. Like personally, I would have liked this if it like caught your house on fire and like your neighbors had to come around to like help you put the fire out. Oh, there we go, it's actually cooled off a little bit. So we can break this open or we can make it decorative. I actually want to try and break this one open. I'm also going to break open like the big bad boy over here because I have never played with this. Like I said, this is the first time this is happening. So she's going to hammer into this. She found one sapphire. Okay, so that pretty much just picks up an element in your inventory that you can sell. So really nothing too crazy about that. I think I'm going to make the small one decorative um so that does that mean i can like pick it up and like move it around to like put it in my house for like this is the time that i almost died you know fun 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 i think i'm gonna put this like out here as a little decorative piece i mean it's not it's not the coolest thing i've ever seen in the world it's literally a lump of rock we've also got some lava over here as well but that's literally just like lava like that doesn't do anything it's not really interactable so i'm probably gonna have her open these bad boys up as well um in the morning but like i said i honestly like didn't even want to start this right now like i was gonna play a couple of days off screen oh you should go to work oh my god how did you manage to sleep through work amiri you are so late so he's going off to work I'm probably still gonna play a couple of days off screen because I do want to make some like moves on the natural island so I'll be back with you guys when the time like calls for it. Oh yeah I think we're starting to do a good job on Mua Pelam guys. So the island is improving. Conservation efforts are allowing Mua Pelham to flourish. Flowers are blooming, coral reefs are growing, and fish are coming back. Not all is going swimmingly though. Pesky seagulls have come to take advantage of the local wildlife and the allure of the beautiful island has attracted more troublemakers. Keep it up, Mua Pelham needs more care. Oh, she just found the Heart of Sulani, which I actually downloaded a wearable Heart of Sulani, which I kind of want to give to a 
Rihi because with her like obviously becoming like closer to the island and really like trying to look after it like I feel like she pretty much is the embodiment of the heart of Sulani she's out here in a freaking monsoon right now like it is chucking it down it's such a big thunderstorm and she's still like digging for treasure not treasure for trash <laughs> opposite she's literally being the little mermaid right now and is uh digging for trash i love this sim so much i think she is so cute like she fully is dedicating oh my god did she just she just got struck by lightning oh my god this is not what i needed my baby oh Arihi, look at her okay we should probably send you back she's got literal sparks flying off her and i definitely need to have her reach a level six in logic because i really want her to get that promotion but i'm so glad that like her efforts are paying off i don't think really any troublemakers are gonna spawn right now because like i said it is flipping thunderstorming and arihi is the only one crazy enough to be out on the island right now like not giving a toss whatsoever but there is some trash over here so i'm gonna have her come clean this up real quickly praying that she doesn't she doesn't get hit by any more lightning dude you're gonna oh that was so close you're gonna hit the rock oh how did her boat just not smash she was so close to just smashing her canoe into the rock what the actual heck that was scary as. So I think I'm probably gonna work on Arihi's logic skill. I actually want to do some more diving as well because I feel like we haven't really, uh, we haven't really deep dove, deep dove, deep dived, deep dived into that. So I definitely want to do some more diving too. Um, oh look her little heart is so happy she needs to go inside though <gasps> the seagulls we can chase them away get away you pesky seagulls leave my natural island alone i love how we're all for like the environment and like animals but yet when it comes to seagulls now nah, get them away oh <laughs> the other Rory he got there before you she's like oh what seagulls I can't see any seagulls well the other chick got there before you go and chase this flock instead I just want to see her chase a flock of seagulls she's so freaking dedicated who else would do this like really she's so angry she's like woohoo I got rid of them look at her she's had a terrifying last few days she's been struck by lightning and she also her house got hit with volcano bombs it's a brand new day and after the excitement that was yesterday i just want to take it back a little bit i want to rein it in i want to gain control over these sims and i definitely want to talk about some things that i have been discussing in this lp and also like i don't think i've talked about some recent mod additions that i've added into my game which definitely go well really really well with island living so i am going to give you guys a quick little overview of those as well so i will link the wearable heart of sulani down in the description for you guys this is the heart of sulani by the way if you're wondering why i'm talking about this is pretty much one of the jewelry pieces that you can find while speech combing in sulani and island living and it is definitely a recent addition i think there's like a little collectible variant of this i mean it is a collectible but i think there's like an actual collection to do with it so as you guys know we have like a couple of new things in gardening so everything new is kind of described by the island living logo um i don't know if you guys like check your collections that often i usually don't but i think for new lps like and new expansion packs i think i'm gonna start doing it so basically this is i think we have the carver root to find we've obviously got coconuts this is the carver root i think this is something else but we can definitely purchase that and then obviously pineapples as well so i will try and get all of those i might have a rehi start like a little garden for those 
Metals, we didn't get anything new. Crystals, we also didn't get anything new. We got new eight fish. So again, they are shown by the island living. I found like a fair few of them. A lot of them are like different variants of the same fish. So like bluefin tuna, like we already had tuna in the game, but the bluefin one is specific to island living. So we got a couple of fish, which Mary is hopefully gonna find most of those. Obviously seashells was a new collection. There is only 13 of those. So we have seashells and then buried treasure is also a new collection we honestly haven't found that much um so this is the heart of sulani oh my god it has a full description sam felt for the pendant under his ruffled shirt against his chest when worried swelled in him the pendant provided calm and solace tonight he found himself reaching for it more than usual around the ohanali town bonfire the welcoming sulani islanders Islanders? <laughs> Islanders sat and ate and laughed. Every so often, he'd catch a glance. More pity than awe, Sam thought. Captain Samuel Handwich. Handwich Sandwich. Your fortunes guide you like a rising star, he muttered, whilst feeling far away from Barnacle Bay. Oh, so he actually started in The Sims 3 and traveled over to The Sims 4. I feel like they're like alternate realities. Like this is like Stranger Things. Sims 4 is like the upside down <laughs> for Sims 3 Sims. And his life as a rising stage star where after one stirring performance, a child after offered her heart, the pendant now around his neck. I'll treasure this always, he promised. What's your name? Jocasta. The parley was his last chance to regain what he'd lost. Being a pirate was unsurprisingly more difficult than acting as one. Vanity misguided his command, and when his ship crashed, the nearly starving crew abandoned him. Still, loss sharpened his focus, and the story of island treasure beyond imagination drove him. Surely, passionate appeals would sway the parley for a wealthy sum in his favour, much like audiences at his shows. Anxiety rose in him again, and he reached for the pendant. Oh my god, there's like a whole story here. Let me know if you guys want me to go through all of these. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to find the rest of them to tell like the full story, but that's so cool. Um, but like I said, I do actually have a wearable version, which I kind of want to show you guys. So if I go into uh, create a sim here, so let me modify a reheat in create a sim. This is really cool that someone like made this Me as oh a gosh. wearable variant. They said they were really disappointed when their sim found it and then they actually couldn't wear it. So I'm actually going to get rid of the necklace that she's currently wearing in like most of her outfits and instead I'm gonna come down to necklaces and where is it? it it's it is custom content I know that much oh there's also this like shell one which I think is really cool I think they're called like crow shells or something like that I can never really remember the name of them this is the wearable one so you can kind of change it to like any color this is the one that you actually find like the red variant so I'm gonna put her in this for like a few of her outfits but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is now a thing so you can go download it if you want to. There we go, Arihi is now rocking the heart of Sulani on like most of her outfits and we also got a promotion so we can select a branch for Arihi. So we can be an environmental manager. Basically what this means, uh, use your expertise to consult on environmental policies, secure grants and spread awareness to the masses. It's time to widen the scope of your work. That's like a regular Monday to Friday, like nine to five, which I don't really feel like she is. Um, so we also have marine biologists. From coral reefs to sea turtles, show your love of marine life and the sea. The ocean calls to you. So this is more like on land and then this is more like in the sea and caring about the environment. So I feel like Arihi definitely has a pull towards this one, especially with her mother being a mermaid. And I think that's also the more active one as well. From the comments that I've read from you guys over my time of playing Island Living and throughout this Let's Play, the marine biologist is the most active out of those branches. So that's what I decided to go for. 
Arihi has been promoted. Ooh, congrats on the big promotion. Do you want to celebrate tonight? We will celebrate tonight, but again, you're inviting me out right now and not tonight, so I'm going to cancel out of that. She will now make an additional 25 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 87. She has also received enthused about marine biology and survey ocean wildlife. And her next, I think her next time she's in work is actually tomorrow. Yeah, okay. So we actually, oh, we actually have to survey ocean wildlife. How do we go about that? Do we have to go to Mua Pelham? Um, or do we go to one of these? Okay, so we could literally do this out of our back garden. That's so good. All right, so I'm gonna send her out here to survey the wildlife. And I did also get a, what's it called? A fish tank. This fish is honestly my whole ass mood. Sad gay fish, like that's me. Like always looking shocked rocking a rainbow at all times like this is literally me can anyone else relate to this fish as much as i can tag yourself which fish are you tag yourself in the comments right now i want to know what fish you are are you a clown because same all right enough about the fish she's gonna go survey the ocean and also in the last part we made a friend with a dolphin so tama actually made friends oh my god she can come and talk to the fish she's is she gonna be sad that we have the fish like locked up or is she gonna be happy we have uncomfortable surroundings i think like one of these fish may be like Shady yeah, they're all foul. Yes. So does that mean, huh? is that giving us the bad environment thing? I think it is, because I can't really see any dirty plates around. So I think the foul fish, I mean, no wonder. If they're foul smelling, then I wouldn't want them in my living room. But we are going to come over here. We're going to swim here. And I asked you guys to name her soulmate dolphin. And loads of you got back to me in the comments. But pros and T actually got the most thumbs up. You got a fair few thumbs up on your comments as well. Um, so 67 of you thumbs up pros and T comment, which said, name the dolphin Naya. Is it Naya or Nia? Like, I think I would say that was Naya is dolphin in Hawaiian so if I have any Hawaiian viewers or anyone who knows how to pronounce that word then please do let me know but that's what we're gonna call the dolphin so I'm gonna call it over and then we're gonna name Omara. this dolphin Naya which I'm very excited about oh hey dude how are you doing oh let's pet the dolphin we're also gonna feed the dolphin and we are also going to name it and Naya. Naya? I think that's how you spell it. Let me get it up on my phone. N-A-I-A. -A. Yes. Okay, cool. So thank you so much for all your comments on the last part. I really, really appreciate it. <gasps> Why does this look like the little jellyfish out of Finding Nemo? The, like the one that's always like uh oh so i inked that's so cute we're gonna playfully splash i want to request a trick i want to get you to dance oh that dance is so cute oh my god why are you the cutest thing that ever did exist i love you so much so we can dismiss oh they have such a bond the mermaid and her dolphin i really feel like the dolphin is gonna really help tama like finally get out into the deeper oceans the dolphin and with the help of kika i really feel as if she's uh she's building up confidence you sir are gonna come look after yourself real quickly so come use this she's gone off to work on her little sea do thing see you guys i think americans call them sea do's in england we call them jet skis 
And in The Sims, they're called Aqua Zips. So I literally call them something different every single time. I thought this was a piece of trash, but it's just a really low poly bird. Look at those birds. Do they have legs? I always think like the bird's legs in Sims is like the funniest thing. No, they're literally just floating. That's hilarious. Oh my God, there's so many seashells over here. I think if you blow a conch shell, I think, a mermaid arrives. Ooh, also I was talking about this in the last part and then I got distracted, but I actually got a tattoo version of the scales and also a skin detail version. So with her becoming like more confident in the fact that she's a mermaid, I feel like Tama now like wants to fight for mermaids. Like she wants to be like out and proud, which is really, really cute. So I think I'm gonna like in most of her outfits, give her like this tattoo. Like, so you can see her scales in like all forms, just cause I think that's so, like that takes a lot of freaking confidence and I feel like she has it these days. So that's kind of what I want to do. All right, so we, we blew our shell and it did nothing. Ooh, there's also another mod that I downloaded. I know I'm talking about mods a lot and I do actually want to do a video because a lot of you have been asking like what my most used mods are in The Sims 4 and I've really found some helpful ones recently. So I want to let you guys know about them. So I think I'm going to do like a whole video on it of like my most used mods. But this one is basically meet your coworkers. So usually when you're working, you have to socialize with coworkers to meet anyone. And if you're like working normally, you don't actually meet anyone. So someone created a mod that allows you to meet your coworkers just as you're working normally, which is so handy. Cause it's really not realistic that you don't meet your coworkers even when you're working. So I will leave that in the description. And I also downloaded another mod where basically you can see what festivals are happening around Sulani because I always miss them. So it gives you like a little notification and it tells you where it's happening so you can go and attend it. So I will leave that in the description as well. So definitely go check out those mods and keep an eye out for my mod like overview, like my most used mod videos. But I think I'm gonna skip through to this evening because I'm fairly sure sure there should be a festival. There we go. As you can see, the mod is in action. So a beach bonfire is starting. The Sulani Beach Bonfire event has started. Travel to Ohanali Town to join the festivities. So considering this is a beach one, this is actually the beach area. This actually isn't like the best festival ever. Like I definitely prefer the ones that are kind of in this area just because like not many people appear here but let's head on over here everywhere i'm actually oh but wait kika has just invited us out heard you got a promotion congrats i think dinner at sand and surf restaurant would be the perfect way to celebrate Oh, I was gonna go to the bonfire and like invite out our friends, but screw it. We're gonna ditch our friends and we're gonna hang out with our new friend instead. <laughs> I feel so bad. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set up like their date pretty much. I don't know if this is a date, who knows? Um, but I'm gonna set them up, I'm gonna have them order some food and then I'll probably switch control back to a Mary. But that's so nice that she like invited us out. So let's go request a table for them both. As you can see, she's wearing the heart of Sulani. This seems to be working its magic, you know? It's definitely brought Arihi some look since she put it on. She got an invite out from Kika. She also got a promotion in work, her biggest promotion yet, which really like, showed um, that she is taking care of the environment and like doing the spirits proud, which is really, really nice to see. Arihi, why don't you? 
We're gonna oh, infuse wow. about marine biology because oh. she did invite us out because we got our promotion. So she clearly wants to hear about it. But we're also oh, gonna ask her cool. about her oh, day, please. see what's been going on there. I actually want to get Kika into the lifeguard career. If these two do start dating and she then becomes a playable sim, I would quite like to like check out the lifeguarding career for sure. So we're gonna discuss interests with her. She's obviously a strong swimmer because she's a mermaid and also she has the muscles of a freaking Greek god. And I'm gonna leave these two to it. So let's go switch control back to a Mary and see if we can finally please these spirits. Although he hasn't really been on the ball recently. He hasn't really been to the island much, but I think also taking part in like the festivals and like hanging out with your fellow islanders, I think that actually helps as well. So we're gonna add her to our group and then let's go here together, guys. Let's get the bonfire started and hope that we can draw in some other, oh, there we go. We got some people Oh, this is everyone's lighting it. Literally everyone is lighting this. Yeah. You really need to come meet me. It is really important. I know I'm a stranger, but I promise I won't bite. Oh, no, thank you. I she's paranoid as hell. You think Tama is gonna be like, gonna go up to a stranger who especially says I don't bite? Like, I'm fairly sure you're a vampire and I don't wanna be a mermaid vampire, even though that's not possible, like in the slightest. It's not possible because you can only be one occult in The Sims 4. Oh my God, he's the only dude here. <laughs> He's surrounded by ladies, and Mary has still got it. Clearly, the ladies still love him. Look at him, he's like, damn. I can't believe I'm the only dude here. This is so funny. Bless his little cottons. I'm actually gonna have him do a fire dance. He's definitely still got it. He might be an elder, but he still got the moves. Oh, he found out that she's a dog lover. Fun. I don't really care. Hey, go on. Oh, oh my God. Seriously? Trying to show off in front of the, all the women? That's what you get. That was your wife. The spirits were like, nope, shut that down <laughs> real quick. I don't want you flirting with anyone in front of your wife. Oh, damn. Uh, Mary, you do still got the moves. I did say that this part was gonna be, gonna be pretty lit and it very much has been. Like this part has been Firefest 2.0. Oh, we got a lot of fire dancing going on. We had lava bombs. Hopefully when we invite the spirits, hopefully they won't displease us and like won't set us on fire. That would be great. I think just to try and please them, I'm actually gonna beachcomb for trash. All the women, they don't even care. He's like trying to impress, they really don't care. Oh, but Tama's not in on the conversation. I feel like she's kind of like left out of a lot of things. Bless her little cottons. I just want to give her the biggest hug. But there we go, and Mary is digging for that treasure. One man's trash is another man's treasure and hopefully it's gonna be his treasure because I'm hoping that he can, he can, uh, Oh, he got the heart of Sulani. Which color did he get? Did he get a different one? I think he might have. Ooh, interesting. All right, get your cute little butt over here, dude. And let's try and summon the island elementals. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Oh, uh, no, sorry. I don't want to come to your birthday party. I want to talk to the elementals. We're going to talk about the sunny weather. We're going to give her a heartfelt compliment. We're gonna brag about our handiness. Don't ask her for money. Definitely don't do that. Ask her about her day. See how see how she's she's feeling. Should we ask for judgment? I feel like it's too early. Ask about children. No, let's not do that. Let's compliment her outfit. Let's not rub in the fact that she is dead, okay? I mean, she has many, many ancestors. So asking about her children might actually, that might actually appease her. Ooh, there we go. Through action, Amiri has honored his special connection with the islands and upheld their traditions. Sulani's elementals are pleased. There's still some room for improvement, however. Oh, great. Love that. <laughs> a great conversation always peps up the spirits. Well, did we get anything for that? No, we got nothing at all. So like, 
what's what's the reward here? What's the reward for doing nice things? Maybe maybe the reward is that we feel good in ourselves, Amiri. Maybe we shouldn't let the elementals judge us, but we should judge ourselves on how well we are treating the island. Yes. Enlightenment is the reward. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this part here. So thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I had so much fun with this episode of Island Living. I hope you all did too. If there's anything you want me to explore or anything that you would like to see in uh, the next few episodes, then definitely let me know. I think with the marine biology, we're definitely gonna be diving a lot more. So you guys will see that a bit more in depth. Excuse the pun. Fingers crossed we'll get to see some more of that but thank you all so much for tuning in give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you aren't already and i will speak to you all in the next part bye guys mm -hmm.